guys. So guess where we're at? Where are we at? Value Village. <laughs> Value Village. So I'm not looking for anything in particular. Just haven't been in months and I got my 50% off card. So I'm going to see what I can get. There's no one really here so that's nice. Um, I think I'm going to see how much I can get with a certain amount. I'm aiming to only spend about $40. Less would be awesome. So we're probably going to do how much I can get at the thrift with $40. With my 50% off, girl. I have to say it's kind of been like the definite miss. I am not finding anything and I've been here for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. I'm gonna try to find a little more stuff. Hopefully the 50% coupon does expire tomorrow I believe so that probably explains why everything's wiped out. Oh like, damn it's like a complete bust for me right now. Normally I have lots of luck in the little girl section. So fingers crossed that this section isn't completely picked over. This is like one of my favorite sections. This is Peter. Yeah, for a thumbnail? So exactly like I thought, the girl section was definitely going to be my hit. <laughs> um, I found so many good things, so let me stop looking and show y'all. So I found these vintage sunflower shorts, so cute, high-waisted. Look at how adorable these are. Hella cute little lettuce hem butterfly shirts, so Y2K. You already know everything I pick up is 90s or Y2K. Y2K Limited 2 Velour Velvet Top. And I am stoked on this. It's only $1.20. I got this for spring. This one is 90 cents. Look at how cute that is. Another Limited 2 Y2K piece. This is more for like spring. Love the lettuce hem. This is just something to throw over. Y2K piece. I absolutely love this. 90s era Amy closet. Look how precious this is. Look at the hem. Love that. Little Y2K denim, little Velcro butternut. She's so precious. And underneath it is an energy. It's a Y2K brand. Top. This. Had to get this. I'm not a big fan of popcorn tops, but this one, I just love this color. It's so cute. And y'all just seen this one. I just think this is so Y2K, like with some little hip hugger flares. So cute. Such like a Paris Hilton moment. And then this one is gorgeous. I also found this 90s era little like sarape type of vest. Of course, with a classic little hoodie. I love this. Reminds me of like 90s Skater Boys. Brand is Nikki and Zoe. So cute. I love these 90s unisex brands. And then from the 25 cent section, I found this brand new with the tags. Just a little 90. This shirt that I could just tuck into something. And this, I'm still debating on this. Kind of cute. I don't know. These are hideous. Please never wear these. Like, who made these okay? These are so ugly. Kind of cool. <laughs> what are they called again? Um, Covijas. Covijas. Oh, Look at it, it's, it's the tiger. classic tiger. He wants to get it so badly, but damn, the thing's big. It's not like it's long, but it's. <laughs> Eddie, you don't even know if it's been washed. Touch it. You know it's gonna be okay. warm too. Yeah, hella warm. And he wants to get this so bad. Well, like a fuzzy pillow. And look at the back too. 
Oh my god, we can get one brand new at the market. Like, how much is that shit? How much is that shit? Like 40 bucks? How much is it? 380. <laughs> so it's a dollar. Wanna pay 45 nah, bucks? Alright, if you want to get it, but. Ah, I better wash shit off that thing. So, this is all we got. I'm about to take everything off the hanger and add it up and let's see what the total is. Also got my baby some stuff. Andy got me some cute little sweaters for the winter. This one is super adorable. Look at that, it's so cute. Mm, nah. Six bucks. No, it's okay, we got that pink one. I sometimes love looking at the plushies. So what we got, find vintage things here sometimes. This is cute. Look at how cute, this is from 2002. I can't tell what type of Barbie it is, but she looks so fun. She has her little pigtails. It's like a little witch Barbie or something, I think it is. I feel like it's from 2002. That is adorable. So, <laughs> I've calculated everything and my total is 32, so 50% of that is gonna be like $17. So, um, that is not bad for everything that I got. Like, all of these clothes, I'm really happy about them. I'm so glad I went to check the kids section because otherwise I wouldn't have found anything. Also, thrift store etiquette. Always take your hangers off. Don't hold the lineup. Do not be that person. <laughs> yes, yeah, let's go. It's like eight o'clock on a Saturday. Damn, what is that? Look, <laughs> try that on, babe. That looks like some drug stuff. What? Right there, that orange, like yes. no, that big old. <laughs> How could you miss that? <laughs> oh my God, look at this. This is very like Granny on Easter or something in the eighties. I don't know what to name this video. I wanted to do the, um, what you can get at the thrift for $17 now that I know, but I'm not feeling that. This is so cute. I like this. So as we're walking out, well, walking to the register, I see these vintage McDonald's mugs from 1978 and 1980. I feel like the McDonald's mugs are super hard to find. Not only the mugs, but like these little glasses, they're so hard to find. And I just found some. We got this big ass bag. We did get more things. I think I showed y'all. So our total was 37. It was almost 70, but that's a percent. <laughs> and yes, normally I do always bring my bag, but today I forgot it happens. Try to be as sustainable as we can be. But you guys, this video, I didn't even really plan to come to thrift today, so this video was spontaneous, which I like. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I'm about to go to freaking Torchies, get me some chips and queso. And I'll catch you guys in the next thrift video. Forgive me if this wasn't the best, because everything was all picked over. But hey, I did end up finding some gems. Y'all know to hit up my Depop to check out some of those things. Gabby Girl with three eyes. I'll put it right here, and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.